According to Mary, there is a wild card in the global market, a country that has a history of being a game changer. When the monsoons fail to replenish the feed supply and therefore impact the milk supply. So India having a supply challenge is actually a food security challenge. And in the past, when India has come into the marketplace, it's not for a hundred, it's not for a thousand tons of butter fat. It's like for 10 or 20,000 tons. So I watch India very closely in my 30 plus years in this industry. They've probably come in three or four times that have really kind of disrupted the butter fat or the skim milk powder market. So, and again, they're in a tight supply situation. And I think even longer term, when we think about the climate challenges that we're facing, when you have one country that's the most populous with already the most milk production, they become the most vulnerable for any climate challenge that will disrupt that milk supply. This vulnerability is something Mary has seen for herself. India is a fascinating place. And I had the opportunity to go to India a year ago this time, um, the International Dairy Federation's meeting, uh, the World Dairy Summit was in India in September uh, 2022. There are cows everywhere. Cows are holy. And India, quite simply, is the world's largest milk producing and consuming country. They try very hard, very hard to be self-sufficient. And it's a highly protected industry. Now, they produce about 220 million metric tons of milk. The U.S. is about like 105 million just so more than double the size of the U.S. And half of their milk comes from cows and half of their milk comes from buffalo. So dairy is the key protein deliverer in their diet as well. So whereas dairy is center of the plate in India. And oh, by the way, India is now the world's most populous country. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind when we think about China and India comparing and con contrasting the two. So India, what we have to watch in India is if there's any climatic challenge to their monsoons. So if the monsoons don't come, they don't get enough rain, the crops are dry, the cows aren't going to have the same amount of fodder. And that's what we're dealing with right now. 